In this video, I want to show you how to use the new clipping mask feature that's available with the latest upgrade of PhotoDirector 10. So I'm starting with a blank canvas and I'm going to add my two images. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and add a new layer and add a photo layer. And keep in mind when you're doing your clip, clipping mask that whatever you're clipping it to needs to be a PNG. So I'm going to grab my second photo, the one I want to clip to the letter A, and then if you need to resize it, just do that. Just drag the corner. And if you want to see behind where it's going to be on your clipping image, just take your opacity and move the slider down a bit. So I'm just going to move the guy on the bridge just over a little bit like that. And don't worry if the background is showing beneath because it's just going to, the only thing we're going to see is the letter anyway. So see anything outside of this letter is not going to show. So don't worry about that. And then you can either right click and choose apply clipping mask or you can come up to here and choose apply clipping mask. And then if you still want to move your image a little bit more, you can go ahead and do that. So just make sure your pick and move tool is selected and just move it to wherever you want it to be. Like that. Now I'm going to add some text. So come up here to add a new layer. Add an empty layer. Select your text tool. And I'm just going to accept all these defaults for the size and the font. I'm just going to click here and type adventure. Oops, maybe I'm going to change that font. Make it a little smaller. 200. There. And if you want to change the color of the of your text. You can also, a new feature in Photo Director 10 is the eyedropper tool. So click here to set the text color and see uh, eyedropper automatically comes up. So I'm just going to move that over. So you can pick anywhere. Click OK. And it automatically changes it. Click outside of the box to accept it. So I'm just going to go and change that again. There. And now let's do our background fill color. So click onto your background and come over here to the fill tool. And again, click onto your set fill color. Move that over and take your eyedropper tool, or you can just accept any one of these default colors or move this little box around to get the exact hue that you're looking for. But I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm going to choose that color. So I'll go a little bit lighter and choose that. And then click on the canvas. And that's it. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and please also subscribe.